Hello everybody, this is Gold League Gamer 1 and Dine, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. And the party got rearranged, but once you enter the airship, you have this cutscene. No! Yep. And, uh, yep, it's oppor and it's going to be our soon opportunity to change our party members. Yeah, th this is something you actually have to be careful of, not to get too trigger happy. What are you doing hamming it up over there? I'm the one who's supposed to be doing those kind of lines. <laughs> oh, you're no fun. So, guess Stahl just stole Kafka's spotlight. Huh? For a bit. Alan, the world is groaning in pain. I give Kafka kind of... No, Tara... <laughs> I give Tara kind of deep voice there. Uh, yep, the continent with the sealed gate. Something's happening on it, and I don't know. This is this is just shown for dramatic effect, but when do since when do people start living there? That that thing is entirely mountains, and it was only connected by a single bridge. But that's the town of Jador. If you actually go to Albrook right now, it's overshadowed by this continent, which is just rising into the air. Uh, and that and that. Floating continent never comes down. Uh, kind of, and it looks like a flying squirrel. So, wish so it would not be like the Black Omen in that case. Right. But and they're the they're the Omen statues that Strago was talking about, right? Yeah, because the Black Omen comes down af after you you beat Zeal. I should be the one saying that line. I'm the one laughing right now. beginning of all magic. It is said that they somehow neutralize each other's power, then seal themselves away. If the three statues should ever be moved out of alignment, the resulting imbalance of power would... rearrange the face of our planet. That's important to know. Now that you're back in control, it takes you directly to the uh, selection and yeah, you don't want to accidentally select flying fly the floating continent before <laughs> before you're ready. Yeah. Uh, uh, your current party members still have all their espers equipped, so if you want to swap them out, that's a good thing to do. And yeah, when you go to the floating continent, you can only take three party members. Have make sure they have the best equipment available. And at least one person at this point needs to know Cure 2. If not, healing is going to be a big pain. You yeah, can... I learned that the hard way when, uh, out of all those failed attempts at part 30 I tried. Yep, and uh, again, make sure everyone has their best equipment because you have a series of battles you cannot escape from. Yes. And once you get to the floating continent, you cannot get back to the airship without going through the dungeon. So you have the Imperial Air Force, and these are the enemies you're going to be fighting for quite a while. If you have Lox Hawkeye equipped, this makes them much easier. Absolute Zero, Ice Spaced. And I think I think the yellowish ones are weak against Bolt. The others are weak against Fire. And we got we finally got to see Mog do some dance moves. But yeah, Mog and, and Jake are completely unequipped right now. They have nothing on them. So no weapons, no armor, no espers. They are not going to be of much use. Schiller, that just blinds people. Yeah, you may notice Mog's just attacking with his with his fists rather than the stout spear that was bought two videos ago. Cause he can equip that one. And well, he survived that one. And I don't think anyone in this in this lineup knows any cure. So I definitely want to uh, give Siren to one person, Unicorn to another. Okay, Mog knows it. He just doesn't know cure too. So he had Unicorn. And all these unused weapons and armor. And not a whole lot of potions to go around either. So everyone's unequipped, ill prepared for battle. We'll see how long this lasts. 
Yeah, you're gonna, this is the only group you're going to be facing. There's sometimes three of them, sometimes just two of them. Yeah. Okay. And you're surrounded every time. Not so long as you have a healer, this isn't this isn't a bad party to go with. You have. Oh, I'm trying to remember how many battles you have to go through on this. At least half a dozen. Uh, oh, there's quite a few of them. I'll give it that. Oh, we have a new record. Forty-seven eighty-five. Previous record is like forty ninety-six. Which is the same amount of HP Culex has as Mario RPG. Yep, brought that one up for <laughs> you. Uh, Locke is muted. He cannot use any of his magic. You have to use an echo screen to cure that after battle. I think I weirded that, worded that weirdly again. <laughs> Don't remember now. Yeah, so long as your levels are 25 to 30, this shouldn't be that bad. I definitely recommend closer to 30, because I always recommend being close to 35 before the end of the next dungeon. The next dungeon is probably the best place for grinding before the point of no return. Then things just get completely mixed up. How will that play out? We shall see. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you don't have any armor on, so of course it's going to hurt. Yeah, he doesn't really need armor as long as uh, rage works. Well, he'll he'll still be able to absorb more damage with any armor on, and especially magic damage. That absolute zero hurts. Yeah. Oh, uh, which uh, absolute zero is actually zero degrees on the Kelvin scale. Yep. No molecular motion whatsoever. That is as cold as cold can get. Yes. Of course, none of us actually read the Kelvin scale anyway. So. Yep. Well, we wouldn't. No one would get uh, would even would survive getting even close to that far down. Yeah, Kelvin is mostly used in science. Right. Because we're used to either Fahrenheit or Celsius. <laughs> I still never figured out what the logic was behind the temperatures on the Fahrenheit scale. Celsius makes sense. Boiling point of water, 100 degrees. Freezing point of water, 0 degrees. Ah. But in America, we still use Fahrenheit. Yes. And the thing in Canada, they use Celsius, though. Yep. Well, the U.S. is on the English system and Fahrenheit system because it would just be too costly to switch over. Ah, okay, I get it. I think the only... There, there are three countries still on the English system. Uh, the United States, India, and one other. I don't remember what the third one was. Okay, well, in the comments, uh, if you know what that third one is, post it there. That's a pretty pathetic missile. Only 49 damage for three hits. <laughs> and heal up. So a Moogle, a treasure hunter, and a wild boy walk into a bar, and I actually don't have anything more to go with that joke. It just looked like a good setup. Okay, so a Moogle, a treasure hunter, and a, a, a wild boy ambush a floating continent and, and, where, the, where the Emperor and his extremely insane lackey are trying to... Uh, uh, I, I, I tried to rearrange the face of the world by taking the statues that contain the origin of magic, and I swear, folks, I'm not making this up. <laughs> What kind of accent is that? I have no idea. I'm trying to do some kind of New York accent, but it really doesn't come out too well. <laughs> well, I live in the state of New York, and I don't talk like that. Uh, it, it's it's kind of a hyperbole Brooklyn accent, and 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 uh, I don't know. I'm trying to I'm just kind of sound like more like Harley Quinn, but I don't know. That just, just seems like a good setup for a joke with these three. Oh, another new record, 4881. And of course, there, there's there's a line I like from The Two Towers. What is a man, an elf, and a dwarf doing on the plains of the Rittermark? And shouldn't you be walking to a bar somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Something curious approaches. Ah, uh, that's I, about I the halfway point. I know what point. that is.
Yeah, sometimes if you're trying to balance out your MP usage, it may be more cost-effective to heal person one at a time. Especially if only two or so people need healing. Rather than the whole party, but... A lot of times you can just... Go straight in and heal quickly. Yeah, that something curious is approaching from the west, and it has to circle around the airship. And then you'll eventually see what it is. Yeah. But it's... That's that one boss that just won't go away. Junior Troopa? I thought he wasn't no. in this game. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's in Paper Mario. I was talking about the one we saw in the last part. I know. Just having a little fun. And yeah, goodbye, gal. And th these set battles are the same positioning you're going to get every time you run into these enemies again on the Velt if you go back there. And Mog does have about three dances, I noticed. Uh, the most useful one for this area would probably be uh, uh, the one he learns on the plains. I can't remember the name of it. Like, Wind Song, I think. Oh, okay. I haven't tried that one. Yeah, it's good It's good for healing. If you don't have any healers. the He'll, he'll dance and it'll either cast Wind Slash or a Sunlight ability, which does some very nice healing. Well, if you go to the left, you'll see the something curious that it's approaching. That's not an octopus! It's something big and pink. More sky armor and spitfire. Yep. Again, those are the only enemies you'll run into here. And either in groups of two or three. Well, the, the IAF is pretty unoriginal. Only two models. Well... Let's see, I could do a ROM hack that would put in Bowser's Clown Copter in here, and then we could put in Junior Troopa's boss fight. <laughs> now that'd be something. That's doable, actually. Those those, those machines <laughs> do kind of represent the Clown Copter, just you know, the propeller's on the wrong side. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Clown Copter. Wouldn't, wouldn't be Bowser without it, thanks to Super Mario World. <laughs> Now, there are a few graphics hacks of this game. Uh, probably the most famous one is Final Fantasy Pony, or Pony Fantasy VI, which takes everyone from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and inserts them into this game. <laughs> I've not played oh. that one yet. Oh, that, that'll be something to see. Uh, the one I have, but haven't played through yet, so I plan on going through next, is actually uh, Final Fantasy VI General Leo Edition, where Leo survives and becomes a permanent party member. But I think not much else changes up until then. Uh, yep, Ultros is promising this is our last battle, and for whatever reason, he's floating in midair. Yeah. yeah. And when people walk by, he'll be floating in midair. Uh, let's see, Brainiac on LEGO Batman 3 uses kind of an octopus shaped spaceship, so it works out. It's all connected. I platinum that last night, so it's still fresh on my mind. I lose again! Well, today I brought a pal! Mr. Chupon, come on down! You're the next contestant on The Price is Right! Oh, oh! Price is Right reference! Yay! And Chupon is actually Typhoon. I don't know why they changed that. Mr. Chupon is such a turn, but terribly powerful. And you just have to do enough damage to Ultros, he'll fade out. And then do enough damage to Typhoon, and the battle will end. You will not necessarily win, but the battle will end. We'll see why shortly. Ouch, those tentacles hurt. Gotta dance, Mog! Or heal! One of the two. No, not a bad hit. H hitting a fly moving flying enemy while on the on a moving airship, that's pretty good aim. Ah, by gal. Uh-oh. Oh. Locke's still alive, but will he last long enough? Depends on if he takes that ultra. Oh, no! Well, uh, I think we have to do this all over again. What happened? Well, the battles, because if, <laughs> if Locke doesn't and get it get back up in time... Uh, nope. Yep, game over. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. 
this Chrono Trigger, all of a sudden, we're just doing our time manipulation. Alright, I'll try this again. Uh, you said that about the last battle, which was the last battle. Wait a sec, I'm feeling deja vu here. Didn't we do this where I won? Well, yeah, I had to save state there because I didn't have to want to keep doing all these battles all over again. Yep, and thankfully this is the last segment of of forced battles that you have to fight ten in a row without healing up or resting. Let's try this again, and of course the thing about healing is you can heal everybody in one spell casting, even in the, even in the middle of battle. Uh, that, that's another reason why I highly recommend someone have Cure 2 by now, too. And so long as Gao attacks Ultros, do, dish out all the damage on him first, it becomes a lot easier. Now, you can attack Typhoon and Chupan first, but uh, you, just still, you still have to do enough damage to Ultros to consider the battle to be over. And Mog is kind of blinded. The blind icon is above his eyes, so it doesn't affect him either way. <laughs> nice hit, Gal. Yeah, this is the point in the game where you can start expecting to do four-digit damage on a regular basis if you use the right attacks. Magic, Locks, Hawkeye, Gal's Rages. I better not irritate him. He gets hungry when he's irritated. I don't know, that just doesn't int se seem to sound as cool as you wouldn't want to see me when he's angry. Or see him when he's angry. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to see me when he's angry. Uh, this one's going on and going a little bit better so far. Of course, if Ultros unleashes his tentacle, that's what did the most damage. Okay, he's out. The, re right, the rest of this is fairly easy. On. Here we go. Yep, and before this battle ends, you want to be fully healed up. Oh yeah, that 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 ended up being a big problem. Yep, there's a nasty surprise waiting for you after this battle is over. Well, if there was, I guess I must have forgotten about it. We'll see. Once this ends... Mm. Yeah, Ultros was talking about how powerful he is, but he's not doing more than 250 damage compared to Ultros' 5-600 from his tentacles. How can this guy be so terribly powerful? I actually don't know what his elemental weakness is. That bolt works well enough. Fireball? Yum! Yeah, Locke is about out of magic. He's done All good right, as an no. offensive mage. That sucks, he's almost out of magic. Yeah, before you before you begin the battles to get onto the floating kata, you definitely want to make sure you're fully prepped. Because while it's not much of a difficulty spike, it is a bit of a marathon. Because once you get on the floating continent, you have to go through it to get back to the airship so you can restock. Fortunately, once you're done with this series of battles, you don't have to do them a second time. If you leave the floating continent and then come back, it will automatically start there. And the battle is over. Like I said, you didn't necessarily win, but the battle is ended. So no experience for that, you get knocked off deck. Won't see Ultros and Chupan again. But two boss fights in a row. That is the nasty surprise. No healing in between battles. Now this uh, actually I think we automatically get healed. No. You may be right. But... Yeah, you may be right. I may be crazy. All the, all the, well the numbers looked higher than they were. We'll be able to double check at the end. 
Uh, I don't know about MP though. That, that that'll be the definite. Uh, this is this is kind of like the number one two eight in the in the Magitech research facility. Go for the central portion. Don't take out the don't take out the uh, the two side pod guys. They'll just regenerate. Okay, he did. Everyone did get fully healed up. Okay, so I may be thinking of something else, or the ROM hack wasn't as nice. Yeah, these guys, these guys can hit hard, but so long as you hit them harder, they'll go down. And actually, yeah, I wonder if Mog can do dances on this battle because you're pretty much falling and yeah. only falling. Yeah, I still find it interesting that, that the characters can actually float in midair during boss fights. Well, Saban can suplex a train, so what's physics to this game? <laughs> yeah, the various side pods have a few thousand HP. Uh, Diffuser, I think that's just a weak magic attack. Okay, not so weak, but then again, Gout has no equipment on. And the Magicite will randomly summon an Esper. And we'll see if he lives long enough to use it. Uh, probably not. Bye, Mog. Not for long. Yeah, Mog even does a little intro dance while falling. Yeah, I can't think of many other RPGs at all, let alone Final Fantasy. Uh, where you take where battles take place in free fall because you have barren falls and now this. Yeah, these guys are mechanical, so they'll be weak against lightning. If you have Ramu or Modwin equipped as your Esper, you can summon them and do some decent damage. Yeah, that atomic ray and the diffuser are pretty nasty. Yep. So long as Locke can survive seizure. What kind of status element is that? Probably just, yeah, just sap. Uh, don't even get me started on seizures. I hate when those happen. Oh, ouch. Yep. Gal okay, lost the last of his HP thanks to the sap. Yeah, this is this is this is the game trolling you. If you're not prepared and get this far, this is the reminder that says you need to be better prepared for this. Because this boss fight is not going to go so well, otherwise. Yeah, but I said to myself, but I will not give up on this fight. Okay, so that one's down. I don't like that easier enough. So. Launch a spec. A spec absorbs magic. Count six. So, it absorbs magic. Let's use magic. Nope, we just have to take it out with some physical attack. It doesn't have a lot of HP. In fact, if the stone hits it, it may f take it out. Nope, that's a single one. Yep, that, that enemy is just basically using Cel Celeste's runic ability. Including absorbing your cure spells. Count five, are we fighting Bahamut all of a sudden? Yeah, that'd be interesting. Would the spec absorb spells cast by the elemental swords? Yeah, the spec has 2,000 HP. I know it goes down to a single hit of Edgar's drill. Missile seems to do random damage. Last time Locke took one, he only got hit with 59. And Spec is down. Yep. Hey, now we don't have to worry about that tiny little thing. Yep, and heal up because once that counter hits zero, you're in for a nasty attack. The 
missile bay goes down, that should lighten things up a little bit more. Oh, good old launcher! That super annoying attack. Yeah, Mog may be the only one who survives this. Come on, Lock. Gotta live, man. Wave cannon. So, hits zero count. And annihilated. I don't think so. Take three. Yeah, I don't know if the... I don't remember if the Air Force starts counting down. Uh, if one of its parts is destroyed, or if it's based on a timer. Who knows? And again, that's the reason why you just want to ignore those other parts and go straight for the central body. And the missile launcher is actually less threatening than the laser gun, so... If you, want, if you have to get rid of one of them, get the, get the laser gun out of the way. Oh, your stones aren't hitting, man. And it's kind of hard to see how much damage is being done, but Bolt 2 is definitely a way to attack. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, down to 1 HP. How insulting. Yeah, I don't think Mog's going to survive this one. <laughs> Preemptive state loading. I already knew I was done for. Yeah, this is what take four, take five. <laughs> I've lost Whatever. count. <laughs> That's got to end sooner or later. We only have two and a half minutes left. Well, yeah, I think this this will be the attempt that, that wins. And you notice the design of this thing? It has a face! That was courtesy of me! <laughs> even, even the Cyclops side pods look pretty cool, don't you think? Okay. Is that all you have to say about it? Uh, of course I couldn't, I couldn't really think of much to say about it. Of course I'm just reaching for things here too. This has gone long, on long enough. Yeah, this is not, not an overall difficulty spike, just a hard segment. And the next dungeon could be worse. After after playing this same section on the ROM hack I'm doing, this version's a lot easier. Plus, well, how how hard how much harder it is this fight in the ROM hack? Well, it changes out the boss has two two helpers that will automatically regenerate, and they are some of the most annoying enemies in Final Fantasy history. And basically. Much stronger, more HP, faster, much harder fight. So I did a lot of grinding in preparation for it, and fortunately Gal proved to be my MVP on that one. <laughs> he made it a lot easier than it was the first time I played through the game. But yeah, that uh, when playing through that ROM hack the first time, this was the part where I got my first game over. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, is is that ep oh, is that the the attempt that you were actually doing in your LP? No, I, I first played that ROM hack about three years ago, and the LP is my second run through it. Ah, yeah, this is only my second run through the game. Okay, victory. The I knew I see. This is what happens when I don't give up. Yep, and why you want to go for the main body and ignore the side pods because they're all taken out together. Serena ring that casts both. Safe and shell. You may notice Shadow's here. Is yeah. he dead or no? But first, you want to take the time to save up. And video's over. Until next time, this is Gold League Gamer 1 and Dine. Later, folks. Bye, guys. <laughs>